Hey, hello everyone. How are we all doing today? Welcome everyone. Danimus, Jack, Gwyn, Boro, Puddin. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Hello everyone. Well, uh, I spent a, g a good portion of the rest of my evening yesterday, uh, and this morning, gr grinding up the, the squad, and it was pain. I think in total- hang on, let me check the in-game time. Yeah, 8 hours and 43 minutes is where we're at right now. 8 hours 43 minutes in-game time. But we've made some pretty big adjustments to the team. I guess we'll make it a rule from now on that I can make adjustments until Gym 2. I don't know. But yeah, I made Munia. Uh, physically defensive, because honestly, this Pedef is already good enough to where I don't really need to invest in it further. And defense, uh... And defense, uh, what you call that? It's rather lackluster on this thing. <laughs> on, uh, Tentacool, I did the exact same thing. Like, look at that Spadef. Like, even compared to Munia, the Spadef on Tentacle was already so good that I really don't need to invest in it further. What I would have to do to have a better chance of survivability in the Nuzlocke is shore up the weaker stat instead. That was my thought process anyway. Zinni is still the same old shit. Defense counts, all that good stuff. Amira is, uh, I think eight? No, wait. Six levels away from evolving into an Arbok, so that's pretty cool. And we have a new member of the squad. Uh, I decided to swap out... Uh, with, with pain in my heart. <laughs> I decided to swap out Winter. The, the Zubat. Because Zubat was just complete garbage. And I thought to myself earlier today, what could even replace the role of Ghastly? Anyway, that would be this. Because <laughs> this has Willow and Toxic all the same. And protecting double team. I actually completely underestimated how good double team is. Like, I know it's kind of a shit strat, but I think most of my team is bulky enough to tank at least two hits, like two big hits, and at that point I can start healing up until they miss. Double team, if this run fails, is definitely going to be a more common move than uh, toxic spikes and all that, because really the hazards are not really working that well so far. Maybe in the next fight. Who knows, I have to set them up better. But yeah, here's the new addition, Levitate, Boomer. And then finally, of course, the Captain. I added Toxic onto the moveset. I... wait, did I have Toxic already? No, it was something else. Um... Right, I put Toxic on Kenna as well. So, there we go. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Puddin. Much appreciated. Uh, but that's about it. Let's get straight into the, uh, into the gym. Yeah, exactly, Danimus. That's why I didn't swap them out yet. Oh, hey, this guy, like, ensures that you always get a, a fresh water. That's actually a good thing that we got that pointed out to us, because I forgot to buy potions. Because I think I used, like, eight during training. <laughs> I actually ended up using the, uh... Actually ended up using... A lot of potions, trying to grind up against the, uh, Vibrava in the patch down below. Because they just give so much experience. So much more than anything else in that area. And once you go above 40 HP, you can definitely beat them if you hit the first Toxic. And even then, I had Super Potions as backup as well, so I used a couple of those. Uh, one uh, We're kind of already getting into the territory where I only need super potions, honestly. Oh, I can only buy one more, that's why. Okay, we'll buy three potions instead. Like, minor heals if we, uh, if we cannot afford to, like, rest. No, god damn it, put it not like that. Most PG-13 <laughs> safe for work chat you've been in. Uh, I guess. <laughs> oh, this fucking music. Please make it stop. Please, please, please make it stop. Okay, thank god. <laughs> I hate the music in this gym. 
when all else fails, force your Pokemon to drink steroids. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Honestly, probably. Uh, the reason we're leading with uh, Munia, by the way, is because during training, it already tried to evolve once. So we're gonna try and get as much experience for it as possible. Uh, I'm gonna protect first to see if it even has an ice move. Oh, it does. Fuck. I can't stay here then. Oh, I guess we'll just share some experience over. Uh, let's go into Ken. Ken is a solid switch here. <laughs> Fuck emotes. <laughs> oh, right, that would have been the coughing face, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, it tries to uncle me in to protect the cheeky fuck. How dare a thee. Oh, I got uncled into toxic. The strats on this man. It's too real, man. Oh, the big growl. Oh, no, whatever will I do? It's Mirko. Oh, I thought it already wore off. Well... That big 2 HP damage. <laughs> Why am I not getting up hazards? What the fuck am I doing? I'm not gonna get them up now because I think the seal dies in the next turn. I got encored into it again? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and that fails to force it to eat candy till it gets a sugar as in type 3 diabetes. I don't think type 3 exists. Also, apparently, getting up hazards would have been pointless here anyway because he has a doduo. <laughs> Great. Alright, uh, Munia, let's check for a flying move, and then if he does, then we'll switch out again, I guess. I really want to get Munia evolved. I didn't want to do it off-screen, because that'd be kind of shitty, but, you know. You don't need to at me, Chromaly. Yeah, really not that fun. <laughs> like, I get it. It's... I'm just I'm just too used to this kind of joke. It's it it's wore off. It's not funny anymore. I, I guess I'll just double team. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Yo. And then just, I don't fucking know, just one more Willow, I guess. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't so bad. But I really want to get experience for my fucking Munia. Please give me something I can 1v1. Please. Please. I need it. Lady Stacy. I mean, she is a lady, that's true. Oh, this is perfect. Why not doesn't learn anything until level 15 of value, so this is great. I got Arnko, never mind. Dodua has two heads and two legs, then it must have two butts. Sure. <laughs> Potentially. There we go, Arnko. Fuck off. What if it has none? <laughs> it just can't shit at all. This should be easy. Unless it has leech life, then it's it's gonna be a little bit scary. Oh. Oh no, wait, we can stop Fury because it would protect, I think. Just like uh, rollout, I'm pretty sure. Spiderweb! That's the trapping move, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I guess it just it spikes. Oh, my defense harsh, harshly fell. Yeah, it's just Fury Cutter again. This is fine. I was really anticipating the leech life, but nope. This is fine. Alright, sweet. There we go. Hell yeah. Give me that sweet, sweet level up. Nope. Wait, where is he? I never even thought about that as a move. Oh shit. Hang on just a minute. That could potentially be another way to get rid of magic gardens. Because I don't think... Do I even have anything left? A gastro acid, uh, echoes. Worry seed would be kind of nice, actually. I don't think I'm going to need synthesis that much either. 
uh, because synthesis, um, I can just use potions, you know? And it's only 5 PP anyway, it's really never gonna be that useful, I don't think. Mm. Yeah, we'll get rid of synthesis. I really don't think I'm gonna need it that much. Like, during training, I think I used it, like, twice, because I didn't want to waste more potions. And I guess that would be a reason in a playthrough as well. But at that point, why am I not just switching out, you know? Outside of trying to get as much experience in. So we'll get rid of, uh, Synthesis. Yes. Then it can't eat, and that means it has a total lifespan of a few. Oh, Jesus Christ. Chromaly, are you just here to make chat awkward or something? What what is your mission here? <laughs> like is your goal to make the streamer uncomfortable and chat because no one else is typing anymore? There we go. Hell yeah! Fucking level sixteen, Rosette. How the fuck did I never think of Leech Seed? Wow, I am so dumb. How did I never think of Leech Seed? That's... That's another way we could have, like, dealt with stuff. Now I kind of want Leech Seed over Worry Seed. Because <laughs> Leech Seed is indirect damage and healing. Oh yeah, pretty much Puddin, but that's why I'm banking on that Aviolite in, uh, in the next city. Because there is an Aviolite in the next town, I'm pretty sure. Leech Seed does still get fucked by Magic God, but it does let me fight Poison types one-on-one, -on -one, which has been a definite problem before. Like, I've been in so many situations where I was training up, where I was like, well, can't fight this because it's a Poison type. Leech Seed would definitely help with that. And the only magic guard users in this um, would kill both Ekans and Roselli anyway, outside of like Clefable. That's the only one. I think I think I'm gonna go with Leech Seed. I think I prefer that over Worry Seed. But at this point, do I do I even want spikes at this point? I guess if we get up like three layers, it's gonna be nice. Like, that's only going to be useful later on in the game. Well, we'll stick with spikes. We'll stick with spikes. Because we can always go and relearn uh, Leech uh, Worry Seed if we really desperately need it. Yeah. There we go. Spikes that uh, has a non poisons, exactly. Yeah. Um. Oh, God, make the music stop. I hate this music so much. Okay, just fight her. There we go. Here we go, Gym 2, boys. And girl. <laughs> A follow me. Well, shit. <laughs> uh, I hope it doesn't have overcoat. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't work that way. I thought overcoat might... Oh, fuck, it has nasty plot. Are you kidding me? Uh... Big worry button. Smash that. Oh, smash that big worry button if you're up. Uh, we can try and leech seed stall this. Because that really didn't do that much. A crit won't even kill me. So let's go for a leech seed. Oh, another nasty plot. Ooh. -hoo -hoo -hoo. I love how when you have animations off, it still does animations anyway. Game's lying to me, man. Roselia from this point on is just gonna carry the run. Watch. <laughs> it's gonna double protect. Oh, you bastard. No. Actually, it might just be a 2 a KO anyway with the Leech Seed. Uh, not quite, not quite. Let's get up another layer of spikes. That's fine. Some nice HP regen. Hell yeah. Yeah, not quite the 2 a KO. The 3 a KO, though. There we go. 
<laughs> just casually 1v1ing a bird, no problem. Swadloon! Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> the one thing I cannot leech see, of course. Uh, let's switch Pokemon, sure. I'm gonna go into... I don't know who I want. This is gonna be a level 18, so it's a little scary, but not really, because it's a Swadloon. Swadloon probably only has special moves at this point. Boomer has Spadef, so we're going to Boomer. Even though Munia could probably do it anyway. I just want to use Boomer, because Boomer's good. Nice entry hazard damage, hell yeah. Oh, that, it really only had Tackle, never mind. <laughs> and then we double team it up. Easy enough. There we go, there's the first miss. And then we get to protect. And they lose another turn. And then I guess I protect again. Failed, that's fine, I can tank the hit anyway. There we go, Gym 2. Easy. 800. 802! What? That's crazy. That's a cr That's a crazy buff. <laughs> That's just a... How is... How is Swadloon worth 807 experience? That doesn't add up in my head. Like, that's the type of stuff you would get for an unevolved Chansey. A Swadloon is apparently 807 experience points. Swadloon looks like you on the weekend. <laughs> what, do you just say in a... In a blanket. <laughs> eerie silence here, let me get out of here. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like it when the music's here, I don't like it when the music isn't here. It's all a little spooky. I should go to uh, Poker Star Studio shit now, right? That's the next thing, I think. <laughs> As you can say, uh, Run is going to have to be invalidated from this point because we'll we'll be using Pokemon with actual attacks. <laughs> Technically, <laughs> the run would already be over, but uh, we're just going to handily ignore that fact because he's not part of the team. He doesn't count. We would have failed Mono Poison anyway in this game. Look at those stats. Perfect. Perfect defenses, nice HP. <laughs> it's it's the only way we can beat the game somewhat pacifist-like, but I agree. <laughs> I agree, Jack. We're, we're like burning them, we're poisoning them, we're dropping uh, life force draining seeds on them now. We're making it hail so that they get hit. <laughs> it's It's hard. You don't win much much XP when you fight something that doesn't want to fight you. Swadloon just wants to binge its favorite series and eat ice cream and popcorn. I don't blame it at all, to be honest. That sounds like a great time. <laughs> it's just acting so it doesn't count. Fair enough. I really don't give a shit. I'm speeding this up. This is so intensely not what I want from a Pokemon game. I've never cared for the extra stuff. I've heard Pokestar Studio itself is pretty decent, but I just don't care. Ice cream would probably hurt it though? Mm, I don't know. Can you sped up the gym music? No. <laughs> We're not, we're not gonna listen to Nightcore. Like how half the audience members just disappear.
focus on like a bunch of puzzles with trash plot. I mean, it's fun to like at least see the weird shit they came up with. Like, the sprites used in Pokestar Studios are fucking cool. They are really cool. I think I need to click yes at some point here, so I'm gonna start not pressing B. <laughs> oh, I need to go? Okay. Yeah, you. Yeah, sure, whatever. I don't fucking care. Rental Pokemon. Oh, I should have done party Pokemon, damn it! <laughs> Oh wait, no, that doesn't actually advance the mission, does it? Never mind. Hmm, I wonder what we click. Well, oh wait, scenario. <laughs> Knock out an opponent every scene. Okay. Easy. I, I like how the pony art is level 15 to make it more impressive. That's a really doubt that an Ice Punch actually kills a Volibee from the same level. Oh, I have to click yes, I guess. Whatever, sure. Fucking looping me around just so they can have my footage. Can I go now? Thank God. <laughs> Please. Okay, back to the nice music. Wait, there's always this, um... It's one of the children, or, or, or it's this lady. No, one of the children gives you something here, I'm pretty sure. No? Maybe you? Oh, it might be the lady in the left here. Yeah, she gives a burn heal. Also, Puddin, uh, you said earlier that I will have to wait, like, super long with Roselia to actually get uh, a Dusk Stone, right? Well, it's funny you mention that, because I did look up where you can get Dusk Stone. And basically every Dusk Stone normally in this game is just dropped somewhere. So, <laughs> that's going to be an adventure. Like, uh, we're going to have to do... No, not Dusk Stone, uh, Shiny Stone, or whatever the fuck it is. Dawn Stone. Uh, you can get one at that same Mart thing that we were gonna plan to use for the Psychic Resisting Berries. It's also pretty nice that we have the rain here, because uh, it makes Zinni really easy to level up. It's basically nothing can kill it in one hit. Now look at that, fucking ate it up like it was nothing. Now we're gonna heal off a bunch of damage. Oh, never mind, that was the fight. <laughs> that works. <laughs> In a power psychic. I swear to god if that happens I'll be so upset. No, Duskstone's location is not random, normally. They are usually, uh, in the same position. As always. Normally items are never randomized. Chromaly. This ain't it, man. This ain't it. I'm not gonna give you a warning yet, but please try to refrain from saying things like that. Dumb and unnecessary and promotes the idea that using gay as an insult is okay. It's not. Thank you. Much appreciated. Okay, what, uh, which way do we... Oh, wait, it's, uh, down here to the right, I think. Yeah, good music. <laughs> Jack, come on now. I love the fight music of this of this team. It's so much better than any other team. Like the way it drops down here and speeds up again. It's great. 
I love it. Motherfucker, you just sang me to sleep. This music is way too hype. Definitely. <laughs> it's it's way too like <laughs> intense for the situation. Yeah, right there. I didn't even need to use the black sludge to heal up. Let's get a counter off. No? Okay. Let's get a counter off. Hell. Fuck off and die. This situation is anime. Way too dramatic and way too intense. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Love me a bit of anime, but fucking Christ, it's always so overdone. Like, um... Like, when they have to, like, take two whole minutes for some scene with another character, like, Oh, what do they think of me now? They, like, go, like, internally. Stop fucking spelling out character relationships. <laughs> it gets really frustrating sometimes. Ah, oh, well, there goes another two minutes of the episode. Great. <laughs> I guess it's their way of using filler in episodes. Just explaining really obvious things. Exposition. All your Pokemon are missing is his secret final forms that aren't even final forms. Hell yeah. Your so glad Pokemon isn't an anime. <laughs> Flash over to the character for two minutes versus screaming very loud for the entire episode. I mean, I would. <laughs> that would be the funniest way to introduce filler. Someone yelling their fucking throat out. Did we just get cut, by the way? I didn't pay attention. Ah, we did. Nice. Okay, at some point we'll have to teach someone that. We'll teach that to one of the, uh, one of the HM slaves. We, ha we have, like, six of them in case they die. Because <laughs> they are not exempt from uh, Nuzlocke. New animation for the... Uh, anime is super good. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I watch it as well. I was just expressing a general annoyance with anime. Like, the Z-moves are f... <sighs> Z-move animation in the anime is fucking crazy. The one that particularly stuck with me was, uh, Tersonator vs. Steelix. That shit was hype. <laughs> we somehow lose all six Badoof, what do we do? We, uh, we forfeit the run. <laughs> Chromaly, what the fuck? Pokemon is banned in my country because some kid decided to dress up as a Charizard and jumped off a balcony. He was a rich kid and the government got pressured by the rich and non-rational because of grief rich parents. Are you- are you actually serious? There's no way. Bullshit. What country? What country did this happen in? Because there is no way there's no news article or whatever about this. Same borrow. It's great. And they make a lot of, like, normally shit moves kind of worth using, just because they can be used as a Z-move. That's- that's what I enjoy the most about Z-moves. I think the power could, like, be toned down a little bit. It's a little too, like, one-hit kill type shit right now, and I'm not too big a fan of that. Other than that, though, I'm a big fan of Z-moves. Where- where's the Aviolite? I'm- I- I get- maybe this guy. Oh, that's the name racer. No, never mind. Where is the Aviolite? Didn't Pokemon get banned? Oh, from Bulbapedia in Turkey, there were two separate reports of kids flying off their windows. Oh my god, really? One of these was... Name I cannot pronounce properly, probably. 
Four year old child from Mason. Another was Seda Aikana. Seven year old. Wow! That's wild! That's so wild! I'm guessing it's in Turkey then. A violet somewhere back here. Maybe this guy? Old dudes probably have the thing. No? I mean, amulet coin's not bad, but I I prefer an violet. <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna look it up. Hang on here. Uh, a violet location, Gen Five. We'll hear the lovely voice of some. YouTube is screaming, What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Where to find a Violite today? Oh, it's fucking handheld camera. Nice. It probably is up the elevators, but I don't want to go through all the elevators. Okay, it is all the way at the back, at least. Oh, it was the building to the right here. Which floor? Oh, is it the science guy? Really? Oh, it is the science guy. Okay. Huh. It's the science guy on the first floor in the back building over here. If Bulbapedia is a reliable source, the reason Pokemon stopped selling in Turkey was because Nintendo of Turkey was bankrupt between the release of Diamond and Pearl in, in 2018. Ah, welp. Alright, see you later, Animus. Have fun. There we go. Nice. Handheld camera? Why don't you stream like that, dumb? <laughs> no. Uh, let's give it the Aviolite. Black Sludge is nice, but we're gonna have Leech Seed to recover anyway, so... It's going to be much less needed on money and now. Yes, I would like to switch. There we go. We'll put Kenna in the front, because Kenna's the lowest level right now. Unregistered Hypercam! Yes. Oh, that's a throwback right there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna swap the order here. Normally I always do all the stuff in the back first. Like all the leveling and shit. But now we're gonna go and do the actual, like, quote-unquote, mission first. Because then we get more experience from just doing that instead. So this should trigger the part where we go into the sewer? Yes, okay. And it is nice to level- oh, wait. How do we- <laughs> well, I guess- mm. I was just gonna ask, how do we rule having a partner uh, fight alongside which, which cannot actually do a pacifist run. But uh, th there is no way I can prevent them from using attacking moves, so we're not gonna make that uh, We're not gonna make that a rule. <laughs> you wanna face cam on the stream, but it's 144p, and the audio is two seconds behind. If the partner attacks you immediately, you lose. <laughs> Fuck, man. Imagine if people actually played by those rules. Oof. Shoutouts to Perspective completely fucking up there. <laughs> I love this, like, 2.5D gameplay. It's the, it's the greatest. because we cannot catch anything, but... Ooh, level 15 is nice! It's gonna be... I just noticed it's Entrepreneur Derek. <laughs> uh, we might stay a while down here, because this could be nice experience. Ow, fuck, I just got double-targeted. Hell, why you gotta be so mean? <laughs> that really hurt, I'm gonna... 
I don't even have protect. Fuck. Well, at least we get healed after our fight. I don't think a crit will kill. So I think we're good to just throw up some T-spikes, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Pig Knight takes care of it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Maybe Pig Knight will only use Lear. Think I find think I found an exploit here, gentlemen. <laughs> oh my god, level 17 Taylor? Holy shit. That's actually a little bit scarier. We'll focus the big one first. Stop double targeting my tentacle! This pig knight kicks ass, by the way. Holy shit. Oh, it missed. Damn it. But it should be outspent now anyway, so this is fine. Yeah. Look at this thing go. Dunn says he is a pacifist, but he is just like Gandhi in Civilization games. Gandhi nukes his, oppo nukes his opponents, and Dunn uses biological warfare. Is that actually true? Does Gandhi use nukes in those games? No way. Really? <laughs> that would be really funny. He does? Oh my god. <laughs> Who the fuck told them? <laughs> Whatever, that's hilarious. I'm not even gonna judge any further, that's just funny. In the original Civilization, Gandhi's passiveness could o underflow, and he becomes extremely aggressive? <laughs> what? Because there is a glitch? His aggression level goes from 1 to 99? Oh my god. That's so funny. <laughs> you make Gandhi less aggressive, his aggro ticks from 0 to 99. <laughs> that is by far the funniest thing I've heard today. Because of a bug. Oh wow, that really hurt. Uh, they're both alive as well. I'm gonna have to switch. This is not worth. <laughs> but hearing that Gandhi is the most aggressive character in an original Civilization game. What the fuck happened? <laughs> Just what the fuck happened? Ah, oh, Kenna grew a little bit. Nice. I, I guess this is the matchup now. Why did you use Smog, Pig Knight? Useless bastard. It was a bug, but the creators thought like us, so it's an actual feature. <laughs> so how, how do you make him underflow his aggression, then? Like, do you just... Uh, not attack enough, and then he gets real fucking mad? How does that work? I don't fully understand that. One turn got... Gandhi is making peace talks. The next he is nuking your cities. You don't need to add me, Chromely. I reach in. Uh, you get India to a democracy. Social policies that lower aggression. He starts at zero and it can't go to minus one, so it goes to 255. Oh, wow. That's, that's wild. You should keep playing the game while we learn facts about civilization. Why did you use rollout? What, uh, I mean, um, defense curl. <laughs> the, the move that you used before all out. Come on, kill shit. Don't you fucking die, come on now. What the fuck are you doing, Pig Knight? Pig Knight, useless sack of shit. There we go, you finally killed something. Please keep clicking that button now. Come on. Oh, not smog! Jesus Christ. He's doing pacifist with defense kill. Oh my god, it actually got killed. <laughs> oh wow, but the Taylor's dead from the poison anyway, so we're all good. <laughs> I like how the game doesn't start up as running animation, it just it's just the walking animation sped up. Play the latest civilization game with new Gandhi and mods? Nah. 
I like hearing these, like, weird facts, but... Especially since there's, like, a real... Real world, that's what I was gonna say. Real world, quote-unquote, component to it. But I have no interest in actually playing the Civ games. Sorry. Come on, pick night. Yeah! Okay, I'm gonna speed up the gameplay here, because this is just grinding. And we don't want to sit here forever. Alright, we toxic the tall chick. Pay attention to my own HP. That's that's all I need to worry about. And now I don't even need to do that because eventually Pig Knight will kill him. Or the Toxic. One of the two will take out this tall chick before I die. <laughs> What are the rules for this? Uh... Basically, I'm not allowed to attack directly. It has to be done through damage that is post-turn. Based. Uh, well, no, not even that. It has to be damage that is either initiated by the opponent, so mirror code and counter are allowed, but uh, all the other types of damage that are dealt have to be, like, post-turn. So, like, both Pokemon go for their moves, and then the damage that comes after that is also considered pacifist. Run command is down, because that's the one for the Smeagol run. Also, I really, I, I really can't do anything here. I'm just gonna drop T-Spikes. Right now, we're kind of abusing the fact that we have a, a Pig Knight as a teammate here to get some easy experience with the Kenna. Because Kenna has been a bitch to level up. <laughs> I think it's because it's a tentacle, so it levels up slowly. That's the problem here, I think. Also, I never thought about this to myself, but, um... If you have toxic spikes on the field, and an opponent roosts, do they get poisoned? I didn't think about that until, like, today. And I cannot remember a single example of where that actually happened in game. No? Oh, that's sad. Though I guess it makes sense, because otherwise spikes should technically deal damage as well the first time they land. Only active on switching? Yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. Why the fuck did you just arm thrust a super? Why are you smugging a super? Fucking kill it! You have flame charge! There you go. <laughs> and our rival is trash garbage. I mean, he is Derek after all, so. Hey. <laughs> okay, we're gonna. After this, we're gonna continue on into the quote unquote cave, I guess. Uh, because there are still trainers inside of here that we can fight, I'm pretty sure. Let's go find Team Plasma. No, Derek. You're my level of slave. <laughs> I like how it's all birds down here so far, by the way. Have we run into anything that's not a bird yet? I don't think we have. Pick nice taking a fucking beating out of here. He's getting hit with all the super effective moves. I guess Zubat is not a bird, you're right. Yeah, we can go down here first. Sweet. Right. Oh, it's this fucker, right? He prevents you from actually going there. I forgot about that. Zubat is a baseball bat? What? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Don't hit the Zubat with a baseball, that's me. Why are you not killing shit, Pig Knight? Come on. Why is he taking so long to kill this fucking Zubat? Like, there you go. <laughs> Click the stab button.
Zubat's brave because it is used to getting hit in the face with balls. Is it though? I don't think many people catch them. Oh shit, it's a 1v1, right. Uh, I don't want to 1v1 this with this. Munia should be able to take care of this easily. <laughs> no, not arm thrust. God damn it. Charge, that's fine. Seed. Easy recovery. And game one. <laughs> I did it, I won game. There we go. Oh, Bronzel. Uh. Oh shit, first psychic type, boys. Uh. Um. <laughs> hmm. I guess Boomer, because it can burn it, and then we'll go into Munia to get a Leech Seed on it as well. We need to kill this thing at ASAP. Level 16, oh shit. I'm actually going to slow it down, because I'm a little worried here. Okay, I'm going to go for a Willow. There's the burn. Oh, it's Psy Wave, it's not even like the actual Psychic move, sweet. That burn did like no damage, this is a heat proof Bronzor. Going to the baby boomer and chat some bullshit at it. <laughs> Sealed the opponent's moves. I hope you don't have leech seed. <laughs> Fuse ray. No, only I'm allowed to use that. I don't think any of my Pokemon still have Fuse ray, by the way. Isn't he proof hidden ability? I don't think so. No. Not entirely sure, but I don't think so. When the fuck did I fall asleep? I just looked over at chat and now I'm asleep. What happened? Oh, hypnosis problem. Yeah, hypnosis. Just, oh fuck, please wake up. Uh, I don't fully trust this, I'm gonna heal up. It's a little too iffy here. I'll take one more turn of sleep. Yeah, okay, we can live the next side wave now. No matter what happens. I'm pretty sure that's a heat proof bronze ore, by the way. <laughs> Damn it, Muna! Munia, no, stop this. Heat proof bronze is the ultimate tech. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, we're good. We do still get fully healed, right? I think we do. Yeah, nice. Noise. Um, I think Kenna is sufficiently leveled now. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get Amira some levels, because uh, this one is the closest to evolving on our team. Level 22, we get an Arbok. Bronze on will trigger that you slept so you became immune to heat. How does that even work? Why is this still a trigger joke in 2018? Is this still funny? I guess it is. Just gastro acid the torchic, yes. No, they've never really been funny. This chat is a fucking meme. What gave it away? <laughs> I guess I could try and switch through my Black Sludge to the Torchic. Name my Piglet Exp- Bro, it's not even on my team! <laughs> you don't get why Heatproof is still an exclusive ability to Bronzol and Bronzong? There's actually quite a bit of lore behind why. I think it's like some- it's like some old Japanese tale about, um, I'll click moves in the meantime, about this lady uh, who gives away her steel mirror to uh, a melting of a bell, I think it was? But she wanted her mirror back because she wanted to see how good she looks or whatever. I don't know the exact lore anymore. I saw a video on it once. 
uh, and uh, she killed herself because she wanted that mirror that bad, apparently. And from that point on, the bell was cursed, bell was thrown away. Um, but you could still see her mirror in it. I, I, I tell, I told this horribly, but there is lore behind it. <laughs> But then why give it a clearly better ability so Heatproof is useless? I mean, you can look this up. This is the the actual lore behind why Bronzor and Bronzong have that ability. <laughs> what a lovely story. Yeah, I, I just couldn't tell it right. I'm sorry. Is that the Japanese... Japanese Narcissus? Uh... I don't know if that was an actual question or not. I'm sorry. <laughs> Want to tell the kids at night. Well, that arm thrust really swiftly worked through there. Yes, Rasp Zubang. Hell yeah. If you put a mirror far enough, you will see the past. Ah. Narcissus, the guy who looked at his reflection and turned into a flower. No, it's not that story. But I guess... I guess there are similarities, but like, the lady killed herself. That's the only thing I distinctly remember. Of course, that would be the thing that I remember. If you can hear my uh, fan, by the way, let me know. I needed some uh, some cool down here. Let's get a little bit more. Don't worry about your fans. Name your team male toxicity, but they're all ladies. <laughs> Every single Pokemon on my team is is a female. <laughs> my fans love you, go down. Thank you. <laughs> oh we I couldn't even run? What the fuck, man? I guess they are Taylors, fair, fair enough. There we go. Got some experience and then got to run away. Sweet. This guy definitely fights. Yeah, there we go. It really doesn't, man. Like, I think you might hang around a little bit too much on Fortune. Like, it's pretty not that funny. <laughs> So it doesn't get blaze. Hell yeah. <laughs> the strats. Ooh. Advanced maneuvers. Alright, that should be that. Hopefully he doesn't have a second. There we go. Five more levels, and we have a big snack. Screech! <laughs> no. <laughs> Four chan's a bit too small for you. Prefer a wider playground. Okay, okay, fair enough. Screech! <laughs> Just like these Zubans. Can't really do much here, Tepic. <laughs> Tepic? Pig Knight. It's all down to you here. Finally, he clicks the right button. <laughs> yeah, Borrow. It, it's kind of perfect, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this is the healer, right? Totally need this when I still have my rival chasing me. A Vulpix. 
I remember last time we did a, a randomized run. This was a Zekrom. That was a little scarier. <laughs> Alright, Toxic. Oh shit, Fire Spin's kind of trash. Average Pokemon trainer's mind. Let me wait in this corner for god knows how long and jump on kids when they pass. Totally not a creepy thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> it is It is pretty weird, like, the entirety of the Pokemon universe. How that shit works. Like, they send their ten-year-olds out into the world. Uh, with a level five Pokemon, which is probably not gonna cut it for most areas they want to go to. Dang, you beat me, take 500 Dolans. <laughs> Why? Have we really missed, like, every Toxic already? There we go. Oh my god, we missed again. You motherfucker! Well, I guess money as a leaf can level up now. Uh... You go to Kenna, this is fine. Wild Torture appears makes sense to me. Now, come on, let's hit a Toxic. Yeah! Good shit. Code, I guess. This Vulpix has incredible luck. Like, seriously. Stop roll. Okay, it's at least Ekansu. That's good. I didn't, I didn't want the experience to be spread so thinly, but I guess it's not to my choice. How fucked would the Pokemon world be if a villainous, villainous team got their hands on some guns? Oof. Pretty bad. Hype, hyper potion, really? Hyper potion. Selling 10 year olds basically new trainers smuggled exotic Pokemon, which are only alive because they are on drugs. Too real, too dark. I never even thought about it like that, Chromaly. That's <laughs> that makes the whole world look a little bit more fucked up of Pokemon. Because <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Though I guess in this universe, only legendaries and like um, legendaries and starters are considered like rare. The rest is all just kind of normal, really. They're not really exotic anymore. What about the guy at Mount Moon who sells magic cups for the equivalent of a potion and a Pokeball? <laughs> Look, man, he's got he's just got a deal. That's all. Wow, she made a super potion because my Pokemon will poison type. Amazing. And next, she's gonna make a soup uh, a hyper potion. We get a Zinc. I'm actually gonna turn on some repels here. I'm uh, I'm getting tired. Tired of the wildlife here. Where is the repel? Is it in this one? Probably is in this one. I think I bought. Oh no, wait. I guess I didn't buy any. That must have been like the, the Smeagol run still. Right, what's, what's back here? I don't think I've ever been into this one. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna speed this shit up because I'm tired of this. Alright, give me the experience. Give me. Click buttons. Let, t let Pig Knight kill stuff. There we go. What? Is this like an event Pokemon? Like, what? what's here, normally? It has to be an event. Forgetting to feed your magic up and then having to flush it down the toilet makes it evolve. Because it's like a mini waterfall. <laughs> but doesn't doesn't med, doesn't in the myth, it has to go up the waterfall, right? Not down it, I think. You also gotta have a pretty big toilet to flush you down a magic up, this is true. <laughs> I 
Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. And evolve, yeah, you're right. <laughs> that is exactly what would happen. Because why would it try to swim down? It's in its nature to try and swim up. No event Pokemon in Castellia Sewers? Why the fuck is there an empty room then? What? Doesn't make any sense. Can you say anything? Okay. Wait, hang on. Fuck, go back. Give me experience first, though. Four more levels. Four more. Teleosu is the best area in any Pokemon game. Confirmed. Like, there is a, um... There is a little jumpy thing over here. This, this shit right here. That means that at some point you can come all the way from here, down to here, to, to this dude. Is that from the cave that's, like, right next to this whole thing? to get there? Is that really it? Because I just don't know. I have no idea. Nothing else down here. Nothing down here. Oh wait, this is the w uh, the way back. But that's fine. I think we already got everything anyway. So now we're just going to grind up. I'm almost tempted to just grind up a mirror over here. Like, all the way to, I don't know, 21? Because I really, 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 really want an Arbok. Arbok is cool as fuck, man. And it also has the most useful ability of all the Pokemon on our team. Any more deaths since Ghastly? Nope, we're all good. We actually have a new team member as well, Coughing. I replaced Zubat with a Coughing, because Coughing is just better in every way. It has Will-O-Wisp access, it's more bulky, it, it it can actually carry its weight. Is it bad that Black and White 2 is the only pair of games you've never played? A little bit, but understandable. Not a lot of people actually give credit to Black and White 2, because they were part of the uh, uh, subpar Black and White. Stelly Zeus is almost as good as the Cold Storage. I actually do really like the Cold Storage. I'm almost kind of sad that it's not in this one. Because I don't think you ever go there in this game. That's only in Black and White, I think. That room was where the creepy guys in the sewers bring the kids. They killed the pets of and beat up so they can sell them in Africa as either slaves or what? Wait, sell the Pokemon as slaves or wives? Or wait, what? What's happening here? Wait. What the hell did you just describe, Chromaly? Black and White 2 were a part of the re vanillish generation. That's true. The kids as slaves or wives. Man, that's even... That's fuck. Ugh, go. Oh man, please. <laughs> That's just depressing. <laughs> you being real, your favorite area in Pokemon is outside Stark Mountain in Platinum. I have not really played the Gen 4 games. I've played through them once randomized, and that's my only experience with them. And I didn't really like it. But then again, uh, I think that was Platinum, so maybe that differs like... Oh wait, no, not Platinum. Like, the one that's... Uh... Oh wait, yeah, Platinum, I think. Because Diamond and Pearl are the main ones, and then you have Platinum as, like, the cash grab. He doesn't like a good slave. <laughs> yeah, we got f six of those. Platinum is way better than Diamond and Pearl, though. See, I don't know that, because I only play Platinum. I still don't really like Platinum. Like, I had so many, you know, uh... 
I guess the best in terms of describing this veteran, like, YouTubers for Pokemon. So you're like, oh, Gen 4's fucking creaming my pants, dude. Oh, wow, it's so amazing. And then when I play it, it's just, yeah, it's a Pokemon game. Yeah, sure. I think they got the game confused with the competitive scene, which started to flourish at that point, I think. Distortion world navigation fucked my brain. Understandable. Flynn and Diamond and Pearl's the shittiest type theme trainer ever. How come? I don't even remember who Flynn is, I'll be honest. Previous Pokemon weren't fire type, his theme type. Oof. Who's Flint though? I I've I've legitimately forgotten. Well, Mrs. Steelix with Sunny Day. Flint is an elite four member. Ah, gotcha. The guy with the red afro. Gotcha. Primarily, I don't need nickname suggestions, especially not kinds like that. I, I guess that one's kind of But like, no. That wouldn't even fit. <laughs> Fire E4 from Sinnoh, buddy with Val- uh, Val- Isn't Valkner from Gen 2? Isn't that bird dude? Sunny Day Steelix is in the literal sense heat, yeah, for sure. Faulkner, fuck me. Why? What, what did Faulkner do? Killed this torture. <laughs> Hello, Octo Girl. Welcome. I was just gonna ask Chair, what what have you guys been up to today? Because uh, I know that some of you are EU. I think a couple of you are US. So for the US, I guess what will you be up to? Because I don't think it's uh, that late where the US people are yet, generally speaking. We're doing something kind of boring right now. <laughs> You've been up to math? You have done absolutely nothing of note today. Sounds like a good day. You work tonight, so you're going to sleep soon? Ah. Just going through prison. I mean school. French. Ah. Nice. 2 p.m. Ah. Yeah, yeah, we just picked up a relic crown by I I didn't want to like interrupt my sentence, but we just picked up a relic crown. What does that do? It sounds important. Yeah. Eight uh, eight thirty-five where I am. You can use an exclamation mark done time to check me on my word. <laughs> You sell it for loads of money! Nice. You somehow get to the guy in Undeadless Hand, you can sell it to him for 300k! Holy shit. Okay, we're definitely hanging on to that then. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of money. Loads of money! I'm gonna keep it real. We're gonna train up this fucking... <laughs> we're gonna train up this stupid snake until it's level 22. I want it too bad. It's so close, and this is so easy for leveling up this place. It's perfect. All I have to do is spam protect and not get crit. It's ideal. There is going to be no better scenario. Dumb time command needs more emojis. Why?
You are Turkish and you pay school around 7,000 euros. Oof. That's rough, dude. Woo! That's, a, that's loads of money. Tell me French names of Pokemon? I'm good, thank you. What is it called? It's Farfa Duvet? That's a, that's a good name, I like that. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Zubat is not for up <laughs> That's that's so shamelessly a pun. Wow. <laughs> that's great. Like, they didn't even try to hide it. <laughs> it is one of the best schools you can go to in, tu in Turkey? Well, good to know. I would hope so for that kind of, like, money. Like, Jesus, dude. If it wasn't top education, what the fuck were you doing? <laughs> You'd just be throwing money away at that point. Most shameless one though is Pikachu. What is Pikachu? Okay, that's completely unrelated. I'll tell you. Let's try to stay on top. They changed it from Pikachu into something horrible. Pikachu, ill. Yeah, toxic croak is, is in, in English is toxic croak. Who would have guessed? I don't even just look at the fucking game, I can just click and protect. Like I'm looking I'm looking at the stream more than I am looking at the actual game. I guess with the torchics I can kinda help him with some toxics. Oh he killed the one that I was aiming for, I think. Oh no, okay, no. it auto targets the one that is left. Okay. sound like it's worth it at all, Octogirl. I'll be I'll be honest with you, that it just sounds needlessly rebellious is I guess the best way to describe that. Why would you just randomly yell fuck off? Like when we need some more background if you're gonna say that kind of thing. <laughs> Marge Simpson in the in the video game? I think I I actually watched a speedrun of that, uh uh, on AGDQ at some point. In the Marge voice. Whew, that was a wild ride. That was smoke lungs to the max. Jesus. During your entire education, which was in French, and based on your knowledge of the culture, you make the opposition that the French suck at naming things. <laughs> Sounds about right. They also voted with a majority of like 84% in favor of Article 13, basically the anti meme law. So, uh, France kind of sucks. <laughs> Just in general. <laughs> One of the Germans are the best at naming things. That makes more sense now, I'll tell you.
Let's keep it English, please. I think I said specifically in the rules, English only. Let's keep it so everyone can understand each other, please. <clears throat> Can Canadian English. <laughs> no, 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 that's not how this works. <laughs> you speak fluent American. <laughs> Do you just occasionally have to shout USA? An Australian mate. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost gonna have a big, a bigger snake. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, Chromoly with the call out. <laughs> Life Australian, mate. Bloody hell, cunt, it's hot in here. <laughs> what the fuck is this chat? <laughs> what, what am I reading right now? <laughs> Oi, mate, I want a glassy if you don't shut your gobba. That's, that's, that, wasn't, that was not Australian whatsoever. <laughs> If I was actually Australian, you wouldn't be complaining. Gotcha, bitch. Damn right you got me, I am not Australian. Lacephalon is just Piero technique. That- wait, that's actually kind of clever. I kind of like that. <laughs> I kind of like that one. <laughs> That's pretty clever, because, like... Uh, what is it? What is the Piero part of the name from? Is that, like, a, a famous magician? That's what- that's what it sounded to me as, anyway. Well, yeah, I got the- Pyrotechnics part put in, but I don't think that's how it's spelled normally. Just because it's a common name? Wow. Okay, it's only gonna be this Zubat. There we go. Okay. Amira should evolve now, from what I've been told. See it. Yeah, boy! Now we have Big Snake. We can finally fucking move on. What do you call this firebird thing? Japanese man. Just call it fire. Hell yeah. There it is! Crunch! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Thick snack. Okay, now I want to lead with, uh... Boom! Well, Zinni's the lowest level right now. We gotta fix that. Zinni... Zinni is MVP. Zinni does so much work whenever it's, like, in play. Really good mom. You know that in Japan, Abra's called Casey? Oh my god. <laughs> we already have nicknames, Chromaly. I don't- I don't want nickname suggestions. Dun now has Thick Snake. Yes. I just forget how, like, blue Bulbasaur is in this gym. That is not what it looks like normally. <laughs> It doesn't look right. Oh, the fake out double strats right there. Toxic. This dude. Oh, Nature Powers try attacking this fuck because of the uh, updated moves. I forgot. Normally that would have been Earthquake, so that's good. <laughs> Nature Power would have actually kind of fucked us up, eh? Hey? 
Why did I just rain dance by the way? What the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> Like, I, I'm, I'm minimizing the effectiveness of my pot right here. <laughs> yeah, we finally got the kill in there. Oh, that was it? Oh. And then the Firebird thing. Freezer and that Electric Bird thunders. Yeah, that will do. I think you, you probably mistyped there. <laughs> now you want Gen 5 back for Choice Bandit Priority Earthquake Whimsicott. <laughs> Nature Power was actually the sole reason that uh, Executor, for example, um, actually got, like, access to Earthquake. That's, like, the only reason. Because it did not... It still doesn't even get Earthquake. So they basically took away Earthquake and gave it Tri-Attack instead. Which it already had, I'm pretty sure. Because, you know, it's fucking three heads. Or it might not. I don't actually know. Does Executor get it? Can someone check that for me? Yeah, Swordsbuck used Nature Power for Earthquake as well. That's uh, that's what I used on my Swordsbuck in uh, Gen 5 and you. What is the most hilarious Pokemon? Whatever you find funny. I, I don't really have a, fa uh, a most hilarious one. Moonstone. Damn, I was really hoping that was going to be the one we need for Roselia. A lot of Executor is pretty up there, though, you're right. <laughs> you're gonna have to get some confirmation that Hillary Clinton is in fact a Pokemon before you can say that, Crumley. You really just had to sneak that in there, didn't you? What a shit joke, mate. <laughs> like, Hillary was a fucking joke, but come on. <laughs> Moonstone, go get that Nido King. Uh, I don't even- I didn't even make uh, a Nidoran as like a backup Pokemon. You love Krogunk? Krogunk's pretty cool. I like him too. Pokemon go to the polls! <laughs> that was so bad, dude. Like... Like the most left-leaning people on the- on my Twitter feed were just in shambles at how embarrassingly stupid that was. Yeah, the crow and it was called Shirley. Nice. Your favorite Pokemon is Poozin on a bear. Is it a is it a fighting normal type? Yeah, I know, right, Boro? <laughs> Ice fighting type, that makes more sense, yeah. Why didn't I think of that thing? Who are you? Oh, turn ahead of me, oh no. Yeah, let's try to stay away from politics. I don't like I don't like talking about that. Especially US politics. We get bombed to death with that shit anyway. Hey. But uh yeah. Oh shit, I thought, uh, hang on. I, I thought it was gonna actually do something. Oh, Max revived the, <laughs> the most useful item. Thinking of, uh, uh, a game. Can't even sit and talk. Yes. MMA PFP. Ah! It's good that you have an anime avatar, otherwise I would need a, a valid argument. But now I can just point out that you like anime. Wait, why did I just- oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> Moro, come on, man. We can do better than that. Oh, 
Oh, right, totally. Fuck. <laughs> Kessel anime is mine now. <laughs> And a mine. Mine? Mine? Nope. Give up. And we need to get some levels on uh, Boomer and Zinni. Because I think those are the two lowest level ones right now, right? Yeah. Because the uh, captain's still level 18. So that won't be needing an upgrade anytime soon. Nor will Amira. Amira's solid to go for like until we get to the upper part. Like past this city. Chromaly, come the fuck on man. Like actually. Those jokes, like they were funny Five years ago. Get some new material, my dude. Ah, the dry skin. Guess I'll just rain dance as well. <laughs> yup, this works. Go for tackle, I dare you. You don't even have it. Ha! Ah. First gym and second gym have been beaten, in fact. We, we've gone surprisingly far. I don't want to fight a bird with this thing. Um, Boomer can probably handle this. You can't deep fry text. You can't deep fry text, so... I can't make deep fried memes here. I mean, I don't really care, dude. Like, 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 if you cannot express the thing you're trying to express through the text that you write, then you should probably not write it because the context will land poorly. So the people won't understand you write, especially when you say something like that, you know? Like, there was no way I was going to guess that that was supposed to be deep fried. Because there are idiots <laughs> on the internet that foolhardy think those kinds of jokes are still funny. Everything's deep fried when you're American. Express it the way it's supposed to. Hit us up. Oh, you bastard. I'm using double team, but you're the bastard here. <laughs> wow, he still hit me? God damn. Okay. 100 emoji, fire emoji. Let my do. They're reporting me to smoke on for the heresy. <laughs> if we if we uh, fail this run, we are definitely putting double team on a lot more Pokemon because by God, it is so broken in game. You can just sit there forever, just double team up, and no one will be able to do fucking anything about it. Like, if a gym leader has a weak Pokemon up front, they they will never be able to defeat Boomer, ever. <laughs> Unless they get, like, a really lucky hit. Why am I spamming double team when you got Willow to burn? Because, I mean, that's all we can fight in this area. I think. I guess I can ask some more people for stuff. But I think people give you stuff here. Hello, this is Game Freak. Hello. Game Freak is awfully underemployed. <laughs> Don't think this is how it is actually. 
I have just this dude on the left here, fucking creeping near the s near the surface. Willow to burn. That's my will. Well, actually, I should have just I should have gone and healed up now. I think that's the only people you can actually fight in this town, right? Or is there more? I think Pokemon give Toxic in the same way that you give Toxic in Dark Souls 3. The shit on the enemy. <laughs> like, I'm just imagining now, like, imagine... Imagine Zubat going for, for Toxic. Like, does it... Does it get momentum to go up? Aim its ass up to then catch the poop and then throw it? How does it catch the poop? Does it eat it and then shit it out again? How does it work? What are the specifics of if Toxic was just shitting? <laughs> Fight the people in the back alley? I don't think so. Oh shit, experience share, nice. Projectile shit. Isn't this the fighting tower thing? I think it is. Wait, what did this- what did that dude just say? Battle company. Okay, so this is where we can fight people. Use the little legs it has to catch the poop, then aim with its non-existent eyes. And he would probably just use, like, use his, uh... Uh, Sona, I think is what they normally use, like IRL. Not Zubats, but Bats in general. Zubat has explosive diarrhea. So it basically machine gun shits. Echo location, that's the one, thank you. Ah oh, fuck, a Rhyhorn, really? <laughs> I, I guess. Stomp is alright, that's not that bad. Let's see if we can get a, a ground move on us and get a counter. Oh, he missed. Why you whiff? There we go. Oh, that's some big damage. Yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, wow, wow. That did nothing. <laughs> but the, we got the kill anyway. Bats can scream at 300 times in a second, and they can get a vision nearly as clear as ours. That's cool. I didn't know that. When will I use Specs Lightning Rod Rhyperia in APPP? Probably never. <laughs> I, I might try it at some point if we do something like run out of material. I think I'll think of that. <laughs> they close their ears with every screen. How does that work? I, I'm not sure I fully comprehend what that means. Ow, fuck! Uh, I think with a rain dance we'll be able to survive that. Let's try it. I think we should be good now. Oh, fuck. It did have the ground move. Okay, it did not. Move. We're good. Whew! Okay. Bit spicy, but we're good. We can protect now. Oh, shit. Focus energy, though. Uh, I think I just want to protect again. But that can fail. Ah, I guess I'll just heal up. I have potions to spare. This is fine. We have a fair bit of money now, I think. Because we fought some trainers. Yeah, there we go. Tank it. Easy. I could probably even just go for a counter. Or I can be sensible and go into my coughing. <laughs> it's probably the better plan, honestly. They basically auto-muffle their ears using their bones to close their ability to hear because their screams are hypersonic and super high and loud. So wait. Do they close their ears for the for the scream so that they... Um, wait, that doesn't make sense. Why would they close their own ears when they're trying to echolocate? I'm just confused now. Or is it because it's so loud that they need to muffle their ears so that they don't go deaf? Is that it? But it's like still loud enough so that they can hear it. Is that, is that how that works? I guess that's that would be how it has to work. Okay, gotcha. 
Oh, but like, then it has to reverb first, of course. Right, now I get it. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Interesting, I never knew that. Huh. That's cool. Yeah, then they open it for the reverb, exactly. That's what that's what I was thinking about. Like, how do they even catch the reverb if they close their ears? But now I get it. You're still stuck on the 300... Screaming 300 times a second. Yeah, that's pretty wild. You would not expect that to be possible, even. Like, that's a lot of separate tones in uh, uh, not a lot of time. <laughs> Let's use the last potion on Boomer. Fucking Boomer's all, always using the last resources. Hey. Oh shit, is this a double battle? Oh shit, son. No, okay, it's a single. Do better pay it. <laughs> Why do humans' bi biology suck so damn much? I want to echolocate. <laughs> yeah, attack me. Yeah, let me do some damage. <laughs> Just heal back up to full, no worries. I'll get another rain dance. Because I can tank whatever this is anyway. There's actually some blind dude that trained to echolocate via clicking his tongue. I think I remember watching a documentary on that guy. That was pretty cool. It's also. Awesome. Would also be pretty weird to see, like, a blind person echo locating. But at the same time, everyone would know it makes sense, right? Just become like the guy in the hit documentary series, <laughs> Daredevil. <laughs> Plays basketball? Re what? No, bullshit. There's no way. Or do you mean like, like, um... Oh, what the fuck? Whirlwind. Right, you get that. <laughs> Can you still miss phasing moves in this gen? Or did they get rid of that in this one? I think you can still miss them in this gen. Blind guy playing basketball, that's where you draw the line. Yeah, I, I don't believe that either. That that sounds that's like urban myth tier levels of uh levels of impressive. DC whatever the fuck Chromoly said. <laughs> yeah, the top will be the dude uh Whirlwind does have accuracy in this game? Fucking Gen 5 sucked. <laughs> Unless it had, like, an accuracy check beforehand. Uh, do we need to heal anyone? Nah, we're good. Yeah, hard agree there, Meta. Hard agree. <laughs> See, Boro, I actually kind of like the Weather Wars. They were fun. <laughs> I found them fun anyway. I had a great time with, uh, with Rain in Gen 5. Rain and uh, Sun, I really do. I could never really get into Sand. I was kind of bad at team building when I started. go uh, get my stasis restore, my, my single paralyzed heal. Or do I not- wait, do I not have one? I thought I bought one of everything. Fuck. What's the petri berry? That's poison. Dicks. It's not that bad. Just counter, I guess. Oh, it read at me. Oh, that button, damn it. Oh. 
your favorite weather event is the rare fire tornado? How does that end? Here's an interesting fact with Chromaly TM. I'll switch Pokemon. I don't want Zinni to stay fighting while paralyzed. It's kind of shitty. Like the time when it rained meat from the sky because a flock of vultures yucked their food mid-fight. Mid-fight, mid-flight, I mean. I can't say I've ever had that happen to me. <laughs> Cripple from the legs down and he's still countering. Hell yeah, dude. Zinni's hardcore. Tornado which starts a fire and then eats it to make a fire tornado. <laughs> Sounds about right. I think that's the only thing I can do here still? Yeah. Okay, yeah, because this guy gave the experience share. Okay, let's uh, put money in, Munia in the front. It's the only one at level se 17 right now. Just imagine a Pokemon, Metronome and hits Toxic, Surprise Shitstorm. <laughs> yeah. Also, welcome Torvarin. I don't think I've seen you type before, so... Well. Yeah, Munio evolved. It was like, one away. <laughs> it was pretty easy, actually. I still need two more clowns. Whatever. I wanna buy some, uh, full heals. Give me a lot of full heals. Twelve. Hell yeah. Oh, and then we get this, like, cutscene. Oh, look! Wow, there's an ice shop here. Wow, 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 we. And then we really have to wait until he's all the way out of screen. Do you know why he never teaches water Pokemon toxic? Because they can use a hybrid attack called Toxic Rain. Oof. Imagine rain, now replace the raindrops by dung pies. <laughs> Toxic rain sounds like it could be like a, uh, like an actual weather effect in Pokemon. What the fuck are you doing here? Go away. Go away. Leave me alone. Boo, go away. Anyway. That sounds like it could be like an actual weather effect for like poison types. Like Acid Downpour, exactly, yeah. Still waiting for them to make Thunder Spikes that just paralyze everything? Please keep waiting. That would not be fun at all. That would be the wor- I would probably stop playing competitive. Or like, only accept battles where we don't use that. <laughs> I'm already not a big fan of Sticky Web. I don't want to fucking deal with that. No, it's, it's worse than Sticky Web, though. It's worse, because your speed gets halved, and there's also a chance you cannot attack that turn. It's horrible. It is legitimately terrible. Ice Spikes would just fuck over Grass types even harder. Don't do that. Like, it'll fuck up Garchomp, sure, but most Pokemon that get affected by Ice will be flying anyway. Make Cosmog the only Pokemon that can use Paralyzed Spikes. Insta Freeze? Nah, that I like. I will never play Pokemon if they do that. Or I would hope that like Smogon just straight up bends the move. That would be like my last bastion of hope. Fire Spikes to burn everything but Damanathan and Infernape coming in. Stealth Icicles? No. It's like you never put an electric Pokemon in sock dress. They basically start generating electricity of such high voltage, they fry the city. <laughs> uh. Okay, I guess it's gym time? I don't really know, honestly. We have like eight super potions, so that shouldn't be a problem. Let's try this. The only counter to Ice Pokemon is Heavy Slam Waylord. 
You forgot Sharon was the first gym in Black and White 2? Yeah. He's normally a pretty tough fight, but that one was pretty easy. The, the bug boy. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, you would be a shit show without Lando. Oh, you is a shit show even if you'd left. <laughs> it, it was still. Oh my god, it's level 20. What the fuck? I can literally not touch this as well with Moody. Hang on. Give me boom. There would be no land counter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stun spore, come on. There we go, we got it. Bring back Aegis Slash. Dear God, please no, leave that thing banned. Like, if they drop its offenses and, and thereby defenses to, like, 130, if, if both of those stats come up to 130 max, completely fine, no problem. Otherwise, hell no. 150 is just way too much. You saw morons trying to justify Ash Greninja in OU. It is kind of wild that that has not been banned yet. I kind of agree there. Especially because it could just use whatever item it pleases. You only play Ubers because you like super fast metas. Even though I know they're still in Ubers, but the early line is fun. Yeah, I can see that. Anything goes is pretty much always fun until you get up to like 1400. If there's even people up that high. But I presume that's where the cutoff is between like tryhards and. Uh... Oh, I'm getting parafusioned, really? <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. This is, this is some hardcore shit right here that I found myself in. There we go, we finally got the poison off. Doesn't Ash Greninja just lose to Toxapex? Or does Extrasensory hurt it that much? No, that bounces off, but like, having one Pokemon that counters it in the entire meta? I suppose the same kind of goes for Lando, right? <laughs> the best Lando counter is a Lando with HP Ice. Pretty much. That's what I've found, anyway. You missed the old Lando series where you'd go and watch some randoms? Jesus, those had so <laughs> had some fun episodes. Uh, you might be in luck. We might reintroduce that at some point. Like, the, the reason I didn't really like doing lineup is because it just feels so, like, needlessly negative, in a way. But at the same time, it's pretty funny to just laugh at people who don't know they're being laughed at. Like, they, they lose nothing. They, they don't know anything. As long as people are not going to be, like, mean in chat to them. They don't really notice any of it, right? Let me stack up some spikes here. Oh no, you fucking don't, Madoof. No, 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 I'm not about to get swept by you. <laughs> Like the riff tracks of Pokemon Showdown? What is that? You started running mixed HP Fire Scissor in Yu Yu now? I would love to see that. That sounds hilarious. You used to play early Gen 7 PU with a Lolo and Sandslash and Aurora's running around? Oof. Does Aurora's get Aurora Veil? I would presume so. That would make all of the sense for that to get it. Does it actually get Aurora Veil? Beedrill, oh shit. Yeah, it does get it. Okay, fuck that. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Uh, Beedrill, worst it can do is like, bug move or poison move. This should be fine. Oh, Alolan Sandslash was the Veil Runner. Not Aurorus? That's weird. Holy shit, Boro, that's a ton of damage. <laughs> that's impressive, dude. 
<laughs> like no, like real shit. Why am I going into this? I don't have a move to hit this outside. Like, r oh no, the rage is building. Oh shit. I guess I can slowly but surely counter it down. Aurorus didn't get it, but it set up snow and rocks. It's baffling that Aurorus does not get Aurora Veil. What the fuck, Game Freak? What the actual fuck? Like, it's in the name! You would think that would be, like, its exclusive move and not Alola Ninetales. English names versus Japanese names. Eh, whatever, dude. They always blabber on about how many languages they release in. Fucking stop making sense in all of them. Or at least attempt to. Where the fuck am I now? Wait. Oh, no. I kind of want to go back, because, like... I, I never like using, like, super potions just out of nowhere when a potion would have been enough here. I guess Zinni can just heal up in the rain. It's fine, it's fine. Wish Aurorus had a better typing, to be honest. That rock ice fucking kills it. It's, it's really good in PU, at least. That's true. Timber, we can easily one do one there. Also, I really should have healed um, Zinni first. Zinni's the one who would need the most uh, healing here. Let's get a leech seed, get some recovery. Does Bide um, take into account direct damage? Or, or like, like indirect damage, I mean? I hope it doesn't. Why did I protect there? I could have protected on this turn. If the damage does take up. Okay, okay. Does not take into account indirect damage. Sweet. The current PU meta is just stall, you think? You stopped playing a long while ago, so you're out of the loop? Ah. Bagel. What level is Boomer at? I, I can't even see. 90, okay. Yeah, so let's try it with Ken. Ken is physically defensive now, this should be fine. It's fine. As long as it doesn't like have Dragon Rage. I swear to god if this fucker has Dragon Rage. Get yeah, bite, we can do that. That's fine. Why did I hail instead of talk to him? What the fuck am I doing? Not paying attention. Rage, that's fine. Just keep dropping them T-spikes. Easy enough. I think uh, next time I'm going to go for a heal. No, I kind of want to go for a heal. Yeah, it's getting a little low. Let's not uh, risk a crit fucking shit up. Just Miracle <laughs> for the Dragon Rage. <laughs> I was fully expecting a Dragon Rage there. I'm baffled there was none. A Smeagol! Alright, see you later, Chromaly. Did I get up two layers of spikes? I hope I did. Otherwise, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> All I can do is sketch hail. That's hilarious. <laughs> So, so, <laughs> it can only set up hell. <laughs> he got fucked up. <laughs> right, I keep forgetting that pudding. I should remember that. If it's poison in purple, it's toxic. Solo Hail Smirkle, best strat. Hell yeah, dude. Wait, does this take me up? Oh, uh, no, I don't want to go up. I want to go down. Hang on. Stop. Stop, please. 
I want to get off the wild ride. No, stop it. I said off, not on. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I actually accidentally skipped a trainer. I want to heal up, but I don't want to keep wasting potions. Hang on. We're going back. Just a minute here, uh, everyone. Ash Gren is fifth most used Pokemon in OU. Let me guess, most used is Lando? Because it's literally just the glue of every OU team ever. Why did they even make Ash Greninja? Because it has Ash in it, so it's more marketing, I guess. I don't fucking know. Make a team of the top six most used? Fuck no, that sounds so dull. <laughs> Miss Gen 6 OU? I have not played that much of Gen 6 OU. Lando Magana, Heatran, Taunty, then Gren. Huh. Yeah, I was actually gonna ask, where's Toxapex? Toxapex 6? Dunn takes Corphish into OU. You think he gives a damn about popularity? This is Kerm Kit? Wait, what? Kerm, Kerm Kit? What? You are doing me the big confuse. I just wanted to fight this guy. I want to get all the experience I can get. And we'll leech seed first and then go for the toxic as well. Ferrothorn is six. That makes sense, yeah. I can see why. Does this have a flying move? I guess we'll find out. I, uh, well, there's the flying move. Also, I like that how I said, you know, I'm gonna lead off with a leech seed and then just not. Why does Ducklet have both Aerial Ace and Wing Attack? What the fuck, Ducklet? What the Ducklet? Protect again. Failed. Water Pulse crit. Nice. At least it wasn't a crit on the Wing Attack. <laughs> what if all those clowns are just stuck because the bug man viciously had them webbed up there? Like some sick Spider-Man fantasy. Because let's be real, what do clowns and bugs have in common? True. When am I going to do a mono frog APPP? I don't know, dude. Hey, Roselia! Nice. Switch Pokemon, though. <laughs> Boom, we'll have to sort this out. Toxapec is 8th. Makes sense as well. Zygarde 7th doesn't surprise me either. Zygarde is incredibly good Pokemon. Are there even six frogs to make a team around? I think there are. We've got Scythotoad, Politoad, um, Toxicroak. We can actually make a pretty decent rain team out of those guys. What else have we got? Um, there's more, right? Help me, Chan. Garchomp is shitty as Zygarde. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's pretty funny how that shifted. <laughs> Remember when Marshadow was OU for three days? <laughs> that was the ideal OU. <laughs> Politoed, Polyrath, Toxicroak, Seismonode, Greninja. You could make a pretty legit rain team out of all of those. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, obviously there's a giant electric weakness problem going on there. But that's still pretty good. It's not bad. It's serviceable, you know? Oh fuck, I went to the wrong one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. 
Garchomp is 31st now? Really? Garchomp? Wow. That's honestly more wild than anything else. Oh, Marshadow was absolutely way too much for OU. That much I gather from just observing the meta, like from the outside. Um, I think it's time for Amira to start putting in some. Well, no, we're gonna leave Munia. I'm gonna use my super potions, cause, uh, doesn't matter if I still have super potions, everyone dies, you know? There we go. I'm gonna lead with Munia, get up all layers of spikes, then go into Captain, get up two layers of toxic spikes. Then go into a mirror and just proceed to tank everything. That's the game plan here. Let me save. We haven't saved in a while. Let's speed up the save because that, for some reason, works. <laughs> I don't know why that works, but it does. Alright, here we go. Yeah, you'll leave any. I'm sure you'll have a leave any. I think I'm pretty underlevel. Holy shit, we're fighting Joey. Shout out to Pokeyang, because he totally needs a shout out from me. Chief Joey. <laughs> Set up Luxio. Oh, the Intimidate Lee. Look at these strats. I can definitely tank this for long enough, I think. I'm going to drop a Leech Seed first, so I can get some HP recovery while I'm doing my business here. And before he actually has a Lee Bandy, that would be pretty fun. Spikes up as he charges, that's fine. Arcanine has been Yu Yu in every single generation from 1 to 7. Wow. That is admirable consistency, if nothing else. Wait, poison point? No, did my natural cure turn into poison point? God damn it, man. What the fuck? That's fucked up. Oh, I flinched, damn it. Uh, okay, I, I clicked it three times, but I got flinched once, so I need one more. Oh, the Hyper Potion, perfect, thank you. It failed, but it just said I got flinched, what? Have I been clicking it too long? My bad. Okay, now, go to Captain, because we can obviously not go into Kenna on this Luxio. Captain also has a ton of defense, so we should be able to tank whatever comes our way here easily. Look at that. No, no problem whatsoever. Now we get the toxic spikes. We are just setting up all the shit, aren't we? <laughs> and that should be that. Now I have three layers of spikes and two layers of toxic spikes. Literally all we have to do is just sit back and watch shit die. Who needs the experience the most? Honestly, Captain. Captain is the, the lowest level right now. <laughs> Which is pretty sad. Well, tied with uh, Munia, I guess. Yeah, we're just staying with uh, with this dude. This girl. My, my apologies. <laughs> yeah, that isn't supposed to happen, is it, Puddin? I don't get that either. A Blaziken? Holy shit. That is quite the step up from a Levani, my guy. Uh, I guess we use our block? We kind of have to. That's a Blaziken. Like, a fair few levels above us as well. We gotta get the Intimidate here. Holy shit, it actually is a Blaziken. Uh, wait, did I not have Intimidate? Like, what is happening? Why the fuck do I have shed skin? Oh, this must be this must be aftermath from me fucking around with uh with Pokegen. That has to be it. Like Pokegen, I just put in the abilities. So it must not have had a natural assignment. Yeah, I'll fix that after the stream, for sure. This this sucks pretty bad. No Intimidate Arbok. Fucking F. Uh, I can switch Haru here to deal extra damage. And thank. That's fine. Oh, we got a Citrus Berry, dude! Hell yeah! <laughs> Get fucked, Blaziken. Come 
kind of want it back, though. Uh, I think I have one more turn here. Yeah. As long as it doesn't have Protect, I can take it back this turn, and it would still not die. Yeah. I can just take my lefties, uh, my uh, Black Sludge back now. There we go. We used the Citrus Berry, and now we get the Black Sludge back. Perfect use of the Citrus Berry right there. Pro strats. Holy shit, we gained a level from there. Very good. Executes the final Pokemon. Shit, this might this might legitimately kill us if it has a psychic move. I think Munia has the highest death of the crew. 39 times 1.5, what is that? 39 times 1. I'm using a calculator, you can't see it. Hang on. That's 59. Uh, well, this is not an option, obviously. 42. 44. 46. Okay, that's pretty high up there already. 27. Okay, so Munia is our best hope of killing this. But it... Why did I go into this? This is not the best play because we cannot Leech Seed it at all. I guess we'll just protect this turn. It's fine. <sighs> okay. Please do not have Confusion. Stun Spore. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Stun Spore. We, we can do that, we can. That's fine. Please, no Confusion. <laughs> Please. Please. It's going to spoil. Okay, that's completely fine. I am okay with this. Now, if he does decide to use Confusion, we are going to Mirror Coat that back. Leech Seed. Oh, fuck. Well, the recovery won't be able to keep up with the poison. So I oh, and it's Liquid Ooze anyway. Right, right, right. I'm so good at this video game. There we go. No, uh, Boro, I actually know that because I looked it up. Uh, there are no other poison types that are OU right now. Toxapex is the single OU poison type. I didn't want to, like, be that low and potentially take a confusion. That would just be too much. Also, apparently this execute was physical, so it didn't even end up mattering. There we go! Level 19! Sick shit, dude. Move. Bubble Bee. Nope. Give up on Bubble Bee. Money has a 19. Sweet. Also wants to learn a move? No. Stop giving in to your violent tendencies, my Pokemon. We must slowly poison and torture the opponent. Because that's the way of the pacifist. There we go. Gym Leader 3. At least in BL, we got Mega Venusaur and Scolopede. He gets kind of three. I guess, yeah. I miss the days when Scolopede was NU. <laughs> I loved, absolutely loved Scolopede and NU. It was so much fun to use. Such a great, like, cleanup Pokemon. Especially with a Choice Band. That shit just hammered through teams once you got them low enough. Days when you actually agreed with me for once. Did I not say hi, Andre? I could have sworn I did. But hello, Andre. There, have you got <laughs> have you gotten your fix of attention? <laughs> Remember in Gen 5 when Venomoth was BL for like the entirety of the generation? Was that the gen where it got tinted lens, or was that the gen before then? SDZ Aquatail, Scully is still good in OU. Oh yeah, I don't doubt that for sure. I know Scolopede is pretty good. Like even when it only had base 90 attack, it's pretty decent. Oh, Gem 5 was when it got Quiver Dance. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Oh wait, what the fuck? I'm not ready to fight this dude. Because I think we have to fight him now, right? Sure. Well, 
to be honest, like, we can probably fight this guy. We just beat a level 24 Blaziken like it was nothing, you know? We can do this, it's fine. Let me buy some of these up first, though. I want lemonades, and I want a lot of them. Oh, you don't even have to keep putting down. Shit, you can just spam lemonades! Hell yeah! Everything should get Quiver Dance? Fuck no. Luminion should get Quiver Dance? Fuck yes. It's a butterfly fish. Why can it not Quiver Dance? Why does it not get Hurricane? Make it the perfect Rain Sweeper. Give it Swift Swim. Oh wait, that's make it OU. <laughs> you can actually use a Luminion like that in uh, Make It OU over at uh, nexus.psim.us. Shameless plug, TM. <laughs> Buzzwall with Quiver Dance. I'm just imagining a, a Buzzwall quivering. That's already funny enough. Give Luminion a hug. You are completely right. That's what it really needs. I used to use Luminion as a defensive defogger. It's pretty good. I kind of liked it. Squad's looking pretty nice here as well, by the way. I'm, I'm really happy with uh, how well this team has taken all of the pain so far. I can avoid her by just doing that. Okay, let's give it. Oh, there we go. Give Quagsire a Mega Wits Regenerator? <laughs> oh no. So glad we got rid of the weak link. Yeah. Zubat was pretty fucking garbage. I don't know what I was thinking with a Zubat. Like, that was way too mean to. Here we go. The Colrest fight. I don't know what level this Pokemon are, so I'm a little worried. Entrepreneur Chloe. Shroomish. I'm pretty sure that's normally a Rotom flying. I don't think that's of equal strength at all, Randomizer. <laughs> Let's get up some nice spikes while we're here. Oh, the Paraflinch. I see how it is. Never mind what I just said. I completely get it now. <laughs> hey, poison point, because apparently that works. Yay. There we go. Oh, it failed. Okay. Let's get up some uh, hazards with Captain. And then Cole Rose appears in Gen 7 for absolutely no reason. Yeah. It's, it's weird that they included him. I don't quite get it. Like, the only purpose would have been a callback to... Wait, why is this Shroomish not... Oh my god, it's Poison Heal. Oh my god, it's fucking Poison Heal. I can't burn it. I can't, I can't even kill it with Hail, because it'll... Oh my god. I have to PP store a Shroomish! We have to PP store a Shroomish. No, 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 we didn't lose, but it's gonna take so long. We have to PP st I'm gonna speed this up. Fuck this. Oh, Gastro, you're right! You're so right, Puddin! You're so right. You're so right, Puddin. Come in. Gastro Acid. That's why we have Gastro Acid. Duh! It's gonna take a ton of damage now. <laughs> Like, will, will the ticks, like, start immediately from how long it should have been? Let's see it. I'm kind of curious. Like, will it just die? No, okay. She may save, like, 30 minutes. True. Someone actually smart in chat. Bliss. Exactly. Is this the reason why we should have natural cure? It's normal poison, yeah, but it's fine. It'll it'll take a while, but at least you know we can we can do it. Can you please like attack me so I can rest? 
Yeah, I takes I takes I took some damage there. Come on, let me rest. Let me rest. Oh wait, it's normal po oh my god, it's normal poison. So it's still not enough. Shit. Oh, at least I'm asleep. We just have to we just have to stall for turns in this fight, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's no way we can kill this. I guess I can start spamming Hail with uh, Kenna. Just in Roselli, you can't see grass types, right? Why do I keep forgetting this like obvious shit? I'm just gonna Hail first. Get some extra residual. And now we go into Roselli. But also Liquid Ooze. Also Miracle. That you know what? You guys are way better at this game than I am. <laughs> That's biggest opposition yet, a fucking mushroom from Little Cup. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that happened. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and get... Stellia cones. There we go. Oh my god, this motherfucker. <laughs> Why didn't I think that was gonna happen? That was silly of me to think that that would not happen. Let's try and go into Kenna again, I guess. We can actually try to go for like so <laughs> it's avoided the attack. Yeah, that that's what caused me to you know take the damage. We can try for Miracles, and Liquid Ooze should be damaging it as well. Yeah, yeah, big damage. This this definitely was the best choice. That's actually doing damage now. Shroomish the Nuzlocke killer. <laughs> that that was so hard, like... We had to use six Pokémon to get through that. Uh... Who's the lowest right now? Canada's, everyone's 19 at least, I think. Oh wait, Captain? Captain's still 18. Let's go into Captain. Because then we can just sit there and sleep talk. Has to get swept by Piplup. Swept by Piplup? Nah. We have the entry hazards. We have the advantage. Sleep talk to- <gasps> Oh! Fuck me sideways, that- Whew! That was a little too spicy. That's a little spicy. Was that a crit, or was that just- No, that is just how much damage it does. Jesus Christ. Wow. So yeah, swept by Pippa. Nah, we have Zinni. No, you cannot fuck me sideways, Andre. There is no hole in my side. There we go, get the dry skin. Buff its <laughs> bubble beam with rain dance. Here we go, boys. Ultimate strats. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go for a counter, see if he actually has a physical move. The Z-Pack Mammoth Swine for Buzzwall and UU was fire. I, I still definitely am going to try that. Because that sounds like too much fun. Z-Pack Mammo. That's hilarious coverage. Oh, we got a Protein. No Protein, that's the, that's the ability. Protein. I guess Chorus works out. Now, the reason why I'm skipping literally everything here is because of trucks, apparently, but, um, we need to go here. We need to get some, uh, psychic resistance berries, so we actually have to take this somewhat seriously. I don't know how we would do that. I've never actually attempted this. Okay. I'm actually reading the, the text now, so hang on. Sure. Tell me what kind of person you are. <laughs> the words you are about to enter might be seen. 
My favorite phrase is fuck you. This is definitely a PG stream. I like how they give exactly enough space for that. That's a great line. I was really hoping you were gonna type it out. <laughs> then what would you say that? Then what would you say when you when something truly moves your heart? Choose something universal, a phrase that everyone will understand. Warning: Please consider them carefully. You don't think it'll allow it? No, it will. This is Gen Five. What do I say when impressed? Fuck me! Oh wait, no, hang on. Oh, that was the speeder button. I was wondering why my fucking... <laughs> why my shit was tripping out. Fuck you, fuck me! <laughs> ah, ah, ah. It's time for your next appointment. I almost forgot. My assistants! Now, so please support our newest manager. Oh, I guess it's just these two now. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. How should we address you? Fuck face. So mature. <laughs> Hecking frick heck. Please turn it into a wonderful attraction where many people will visit. So please talk to me when you are ready. <laughs> Clip? Yeah, sure. <laughs> For example, shops. If you make a shop, you'll need someone who has a dream. They have to invite that person to join the avenue. Someone's coming this way. Oh shit, stop. No, stop it! Stop moving. Invite? I want ev to help everyone relax with beautiful flowers. See, the thing is, I need to figure out which person will start selling me the psychic resistance berries. And if all goes well, we will even be able to find someone who can sell us uh, the Evolution Stone for Roselia. Make the person a resident. Sure. Oh, his name is Yanis. I had a teacher that was called Yanis. <laughs> I love his excitement. A nice flower shop called Florist Yanis was built. Let's visit Florist Yanis. I kind of like this. Amazing fuck face! <laughs> uh, <laughs> is this child labor? Yes. That's long enough for a screenshot, right? Flower shop sells resist berries? Oh, really? Oh, antique shop is uh, for the stones? Okay. Cool, nice. <laughs> that is that is definitely not enough. Oh, times four, it's a package deal. I like it. Yeah, sure. I support small business. Oh, he's out of stock? Wait, really? Is that it? Pit pat, fuck face. You do need to level those shelves by recommending people to them, so it can take time to do that. Okay. So will people already start showing up? How does this, uh, how does this operate? What's here? Is this like my own shop? Who are you? Fuckface! Do you have any questions? What does recommend mean? Recommend a shop to a visitor. If the visitor is happy with the shop, popularity of the shop and this avenue will go up. As the popularity goes up, shops Avenue reach higher ranks. The higher the shop rank goes up, the more items and services it will have. Item prices will become slightly more reasonable. 
But how do I recommend? Like, is it just random people that come through? People show up based on how many badges you have, what level your avenue is, and if you beat rematch the E4, I think. Oh. I have three badges right now. Is that enough to actually get people in here? Where, where do you actually see how many badges you have? Is that... is that... That should be done, right? Where do I see my... my things? What's this button? Oh, that's the... that's the button. Gotcha. Huh. Okay. I think with three badges you get three people a... three people a day. Fuck. Okay. That's, uh, that's a little shit. So we cannot just sit here and speed up the game and wait for someone to pass? That's not how this works? That's kind of sad. Can I, like, uh, respawn him? So do I need to be here at a specific time? Surely not. That would be so needlessly complicated. You made your first shop, blah blah blah. But having a shop means nothing if you don't have any customers. Talk to a customer and recommend the shop. Oh, someone is coming this way! How convenient! Yes, little girl, please. Buy things. Recommend. Yes. Florist Yanis. Yes. Shriek, I'm off. Freak sounds kind of negative, but I guess it's positive. It's a wonderful place. Venus is really happy now. Florist Yanis' popularity went up by 40 points. Hell yeah. Join Avenue's popularity went up by 40 points. Fucking capitalism, my dudes. I use the popularity of the shops and avenues to make it famous. Use the communication features. You should turn on the sea gear to attract lots of passers-by. Also try communications facilities such as the Union Room and the Global Terminal. Fuckface! I'll be serving as your assistants in the room over here. Please come visit here. Okay. Join Avenue without getting passerby is quite the pain. The level 20-something avenue, and having rematched the E4, you get seven people a day. Oh, amazing. Wait, wait, wait. What? Why do people just say amazing? Oh, how are you? By 160, it will reach the next rank, and I'll say, Pit Pat, fuckface, thank you for the help in advance. <laughs> okay. Look <laughs> at this fucking game. Uh, I love it. Pit pad fuckface. <laughs> Hi. This wait. Did, how how did you say? How did you? How did? How did you say this? How how do you? How do you? How do you say? How do you say this? <laughs> How do you make this sound with your mouth? Yes, exactly, Puddin, that's what I was thinking. How do you do this? What is this sorcery? Let's shrink it back down, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, trouble, fuckface. <laughs> okay, there we go. Back. back and forth. What happens if I do this? Okay, it's still safe. Okay, nice. Puke your heart out. Fuckface, may I help you? Change your favorite phrase. Fuck no. Certainly, fuckface. Look, got it. So you perfect shop for you, fuckface. Open a nice flower shop in Joint Avenue. It'll be a popular shop that a lot of people rush into. Please keep doing great work, fuckface. Is this dude really called Future? Fucking Future is working under me, hell yeah. It's like a rapper dude, isn't it? 
<laughs> I know my ramp. Definitely. <laughs> Don't. So there, there's nothing else to do here right now. Oh, oh, a dude! Yes! Yes, gentlemen! Fuck you, fuck face, I'm your fan. This is a souvenir. I don't have a use for this! I appreciate it, but I don't have a use for this. Uh, do we invite this guy? No, I want to recommend him. Recommend him. To find a server that makes my Pokemon great! Uh, well that sucks. I don't think that's gonna make his Pokemon great. <laughs> invite to see what he can shop. What happens if I click cancel now? Fuck you, fuck face, I'm a fan. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, uh, I think it's better to invite him if that's his objective. Because that means he's gonna do something else. Something to make his Pokemon better. Right? Because just getting berries is not gonna make your Pokemon better. I think I want to invite him. Instead. I want to make delicious meals for Pokemon and make them happy. Yeah, this is different enough to be useful, I think. Maybe some movement. Thank you, fuck you. <laughs> A nice cafe called Deli Arzos. Yanis announces Flower Shop 2. Let's visit Deli Arzos. What a name. Oh! Come back here! No! No! Nurse! Stop! Fuck you. <laughs> face. I'm your fan. Oh, no item? I see how it is. Uh, recommend. I want to get berries! I know just the guy. Yes. This is really fun. I like this. Fuck me, I'm off. <laughs> Honey key. Aniki, fuck you! Aniki, enjoy shopping! <laughs> I, I, I didn't know it would play out this way. <laughs> 75 points, holy shit! I guess we'll keep hunting potential shoppers. You think this is the best joint avenue you've ever seen? Nice. Hello! People are saying, fuck you, fuckface. Feed him? What? Oh my god, 36,000! Tells a Pokemon who drank it, grow slightly friendly. Value lunch of a delicious meal with a drink. Take your payment later. Uh, Ken is looking a little uh, griefed over here. <laughs> Fuck you, now enjoy. <laughs> munch, munch, gulp, munch, munch, gulp. Ken enjoyed the food. Now this Pokemon is full. Wait, 10 that. Fuck me, fuckface. Uh, okay. Oh, it doesn't even heal them? That shit. The meals give EVs. I think the power lunch it gives 36 EVs to their respective set. Whew! That's, uh, that's a lot of stuff. So we got three people now with three gym badges. So, according to Tsundere, we get no one now anymore, right? Maybe we get some fans, though. Fuck you, fuck you! Amazing, amazing, fuck you! <laughs> the real sounds of a, uh... <laughs> fuck me, fuck me. Not until tomorrow, at least? Gotcha. Hello, 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 hello. I finally get why we have those weird pop-up messages in the other t in the other town. Because it's the same shit as here, and that's a bustling city. Fuck you, fuck you, amazing! Yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna get new people. Fuck me, fuck me from the background. Oh no, wait, I don't wanna go- No, 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 I don't wanna go here yet. No, no, no. Blazing across the fields. Uh, what's this? Can I actually read this? 
An avenue that grows as you deepen exchanges with other people. Is that your s- <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> Is that your slogan? That's a terrible slogan, we need to fix that. Fix this shit. Damn it, Future, what the fuck are you doing? Check Avenue Stasis. Wait, what? 184... 185 more points to reach the next rank. Hi, trouble, fuckface? Last time, someone popped up because uh, I talked to that guy, but that might have not been a causality. I just want to make sure that nothing else pops up. Pit Pat, fuckface. <laughs> Fuck me, Pit Pat, Pit Pat. Why are people saying Pit Pat? I never gave up Pit Pat as a, like, prompt, right? Pit Pat, fuckfaces. <laughs> I just read, as we walked onto this route, I just read Pit Pat in the top right. I know that's not it, but I need to see it to give me peace of mind here. What did it actually say? Route 4, okay. <laughs> Yanis is gonna take over, watch out. Pity Pat. Okay, uh, this is where it stops? Yeah, okay. Let's go explore some houses. Because walking into random people's houses definitely doesn't get you killed. 148 or greater? I guess Ninjask fulfills that? I always forget which house it is in where you actually get stuff. I apologize. Trash can is empty. Fucking garbage. Oh, not base speed. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I thought it was base speed. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, no. I do not have either one of those. Super potion. Yeah, stealing random shit from people definitely doesn't get you killed. Pit pat, Eeper. <laughs> Pit pat, motherfucker. Step up. How far in the run are we? Uh, we have defeated three gyms right now. Uh, we have acquired Joint Avenue, and our catchphrases are fuck you, fuck me, and fuck face. Ah, this is the guy with the citrus berries. Nice. Alright, see you later, Vegas Lash. Thank you for joining. Have a good day at work in uh, six hours. See you later, man. Hi, Eeper. Trouble? Fuckface? I can't actually hear this. I couldn't hear it because I have my, my speakers turned down so low because I didn't want to put on a headset. I always get really, like annoyingly warm if I have a headset on, because it feels like ear mittens. I don't know what the English word is for those. Ear warmers, I guess? I'm, I'm gonna take a, a- it was Arbok? Okay, thank you. That's what I was just gonna ask. Oh, I was coughing, you fucker. <laughs> Fuck you, Boro. <laughs> Earmuffs? I guess that's good enough. Why is there a cop in the Why is there a cop in the house? Fuck you, I'm a fan. <laughs> oh fuck, it's it's night, right. Cops are actually mad. Please don't beat me, I'm white. <laughs> oh he's he's pulled out the baton, man. We're gonna get fucked up. This shouldn't be too hard. I know it's a battle toy, so it has potential to have a psychic move. <gasps> Never mind, it has it. <laughs> Pit Pat, he's got a bat. Follow these rules, or I will shoot you with my baton. Oh, he switched his attack and defense. Oh no. He'll actually do a little bit more damage with magnitude now. How will I survive? 
Oh, we actually got the double protect. Hell yeah. Let's get the triple. Oh. It didn't do that much anyway. It's also a gun. It's a baton with a trigger on it. Pans. Jesus, man. <laughs> Putting it rough on, uh, on Munio over here. Uh, I guess Kana? Sure. Aim for crits, pierce a violate. I don't think they do. I really hope they don't. Let's uh, heal up a bit. Kenna's looking a little beat down. Super potion. The violate broke. How unfortunate. Let's also get a stasis restore. Stellia cone. Where do you make this tentacle love me, you know? <clears throat> now we go for Toxic. Oh, Yawn. I know someone who's in mind falling. Well, Captain's weak to fire. That doesn't sound like a good idea at all. Uh, let's just go for Miracle. This is fine. Can I get, get some rest? Let's get a Chancy Sticky Hold. Fuck no. Ezra, you disgust me that you said yes to that. Oh, you'd love to be able to talk sick chance. Fair enough, actually. Fair point. That would take away from it a lot, you're right. I should not have risked that. That could have been a crit and, and Kenna would have died. That was a little a little too brazy. I love how the, I love this NPC it was called Man Sonya. <laughs> Man's on ya, get it? Never be able to see that anymore. But you wouldn't know what it has since it still gets a natural cure. Oh, is natural cure the second ability? Let's get some fresh water as well to not waste lemonades. Man's on ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, that's good enough. I don't need. Why am I not speeding this up? Fuck, speed this up and do it more. What am I thinking? Lasagna. Like a uh, one uh, lasagna. There we go. That's enough. Empty trash cans. What the fuck, man? You know, back to Join Avenue one more time. I'm paranoid that I'm gonna miss like a passenger. Passenger? Passerby. That's what I mean. I also just wanna see fuck me, fuck you. Pit pat, fuck me. <laughs> John, please, I want some lasagna. Welcome, welcome, hello. You think fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. I think I'm gonna. I think we're gonna call that a, a a stream for today. We've been going for almost three hours. Welcome, welcome everyone. And uh, I think that's, that's that's close enough. And I'm pretty tired. So yeah, uh, we'll probably continue this tomorrow unless plans like change drastically. Pit pat, fuck me. See, <laughs> perfect outro. But yeah, we'll probably continue this uh, tomorrow. Same time. See you guys later.